Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Get Better Together series. This is episode three, and in today's video, we're gonna be going through an arm workout where I explain to you guys the differences between males and females and how you might alter the workout in order to best suit your needs. Now, before we get this video started, I just wanted to let you all know that the ABW store is having a special deal on all men's and women's jumpers, jackets, and sweaters, where if you buy one, you'll get the second one at 50% off. So make sure you check out that deal on our website and don't forget to like the video and also leave me a comment as I do really enjoy reading back all your comments and replying back to everyone. Um, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, all right? Hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys. It's not the things inside my head that keep me going. Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it. Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me. But I believe in something bigger. Morning guys, so today I decided I'm going to start filming um, a little bit more of my day-to-day -day behind the scenes stuff as to or like what I do at work. So we've actually got a photo shoot booked in with one of our models, M. Craig. Um, so I thought I'll bring the camera along and I'll show you guys what we do in terms of our um, gathering up marketing material. So we're going to be doing a few photos, um, probably make some content for TikTok and just sort of planning out what we're gonna do for each social media platform. Um, then we'll come back to the gym, we'll load up all the images and sort through them and then show you like how we organize all that stuff. Um, and yeah, generally like these kind of days are just pretty fun for us. So like I like I like vlogging them because there's a lot of laughs and just a lot of bullshit that goes on behind the scenes. Um, as professional as the content and all that needs to be, we do like to have fun with it, you know, and a lot of the people that we work with are our close friends, so it always makes the, these days a lot easier when you are on good relationships with the people that you're working with. So anyway, I thought I'd show you guys um, some BTS footage, and yeah, we'll head on into the gym now and see what everyone's up to. All right, so first thing that we need to do when we get like all our shit together for these photo shoots is make sure all our camera equipment is charged and ready to go. So, all right, so just put my cameras in this box here with some of the clothes that we're gonna take with the for, for the photo shoot. <clears throat> this is just like some spare stuff that we've got um, lying around, and then we have our sweaters that we want to shoot. So, because winter's coming up, we're gonna be doing a bit more of the thicker stuff. So, we've got crop sweaters for the women. We've got the zip up sweaters just ironing out some of the hoodies as well and then we'll get the flint roller and make sure we take all the flint off it we've restocked the black hoodie which is like literally our most selling item ever everyone wanted to get more of these so i've just got a container in of those and we released a new color which is like a top so this is a really nice color as well and then we got the sweaters but this is a part of the remedy collection After about three hours of getting ready, the girls are finally ready to go. <laughs> so we're going to head off to the Docklands now and yeah. um, hopefully get a few hours of shooting in. Yeah, let's go, cuz. Alright folks, we just got to Docklands, so first thing that we're going to do now is just map out all the clothes in terms of what we want to shoot with what. Get all the items ready, make sure that they're not wrinkled, get the lint off it, set up our tripods, get the camera equipment working, check the batteries, check the lenses. Then once all that's sorted, bang, we'll get into it. Tan with white leggings and bra on. This is, yeah. this is, a, this is like a. This is the ultimate. Sport. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> this is for professionals only. Do not try this at home. 
All right guys, so we're just gonna shoot some um, outfits now. We've got the new basic leggings for the women. So we've got a couple of different colors. We've got black, white, and the blue. And then we're gonna be shooting that with the crop tops that they've got. So they're like thicker sweaters. I'll give you a little preview. And just show the uh, YouTube quick preview of the outfit. There's the sweater, leggings, anchor. Alright guys, so we just finished up shooting. I didn't get too much footage of it because I was, I was obviously busy taking the photos. Um, but we did get through quite a lot of content. Um, we're probably here for about three hours. So we just finished up shooting the new Remedy stuff. So this is the men's sweater. And there's also a matching woman's sweater. And yeah, so we've got the winter stuff coming out soon. Well, it's already out actually, but we're, we're starting up the campaign for it. So the full, the full matching sets which come in black and grey, and uh, yeah, very happy with today's content. Now we're gonna head back to the gym and fuck shit up. All right, so we're back at the gym. We just went through all the photos, selected all the good ones, put them in a folder. Now we're getting pretty hungry, so yeah. We already had our lunch though, so we're gonna head off to Woolworths and get some chocolate because we wanna have a nasty little snack before we train. What are we doing, arms? Uh, we're gonna do some arms today. So we'll make sure we film that for you guys. We just thought we'd show you what we do in between, you know, because it's photo shoot day. We're allowed to have a little treat. <laughs> we're gonna treat ourselves, yeah! And then we're gonna go pick up Remy. She's sitting at home, bored, waiting for us. Can't wait to see her. Oh, look at this guy, look at this guy. Oh, 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 oh. We reckon just park it out. Do I get it first shot? Just watch this first shot every time. Where are you left me? Is there enough room for you to get out? Yes. Oh, where's the chocolate? Oh. He's stocking up on Nutrigrain for the gym. Oh, I've butter never had butter? peanut butter ones yeah. before. Oh yeah, that's like the Try it. Try it, <laughs> Wait, this is biscuits now. We need to go back to the coffee. Yeah, we were wrong. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that one pop. Stick it, bang. Alright. Oh, just one. Or should we get two? No, no, no. You never know. Oh, no, Better to be more prepared. Get some Maltese as well. We'll store them at the gym. You got a big dog? Big daddy? Oh. Wow. Wow. Wow! It's got a good kick to it, huh? Yeah. Mm. Let me get that again! Oh, someone's excited, huh? Go in the back, in the back with Leisha, go! Go, 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 go! So excited, look. Mm, give papa kisses. Give papa kisses. Really? Mm. Go in the back. Not on me. Come, come. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're about to start our workout. I'm gonna be training with my client Twee, so I'm gonna be explaining how to do the workout. Uh, sorry, the exercises, and then I'm going to show you how she's doing it with a few corrections here and there so that you can compare the difference between how a male would perform something versus how a female would perform something. Alright, so coming over here, we're going to start with our dumbbell curls. So the, the first thing that you want to do is line yourself up so that you can see yourself in the mirror, 
and then have your feet nice and close together so that when you twist the dumbbell, the first thing is that you don't want the dumbbell to hit your leg, obviously. Alright, so by standing close together, we're going to start with the dumbbells by our sides. Twist the dumbbell nice and early so that as soon as it's past your leg, your palm is facing up towards the roof. And then you're going to raise your hand up and, and follow, follow the weight with the elbow and then pause at the top. Once you feel that contraction through your bicep, you're going to control it on the way down and don't twist back until, the, until your wrist meets your elbow. A lot of people will throw it up and then just let the weight drop. Throw it up and then they'll let it drop. You want to make sure that you control it straight down and once you hit that 90 degrees, then start to rotate back. Let the bicep do the work. superset that with our tricep movement but I'm going to give myself about 30 seconds just to get my breath back. You don't want to go straight from one exercise straight into the other and then be huffing and puffing and then you can't focus on controlling or stabilizing the next movement, yeah? So we'll come over here and we'll just have a look at Marty doing it. The big dog over here doing a drop set from the 50 kilos. You going? Yeah. Alright, see you later tomorrow. Well, that full lockout at the bottom, holding it, controlling it on the way back up, letting that tension build through the tricep as he draws the, the bar up. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, first couple of sets, you should be picking a, um, a weight, sorry, that you can do at least 15 reps on. Once you get your joints warmed up and lubricated, then you can start to bump up the weight and go a little bit heavier, dropping the reps down a little bit. So always come around the side a bit more. Always start with the weight at the bottom. Draw the weight up nice and slowly. Once my arms get to the same height as my elbow, squeezing back down under control. Don't force the bar down too quickly. You want to do a soft lock out. Let the tension build up. Squeeze. Tension, tension, tension. Right, now that I've done 10 like that, I'm going to lean over the top of the bar. Elbows are going to be flaring out to the sides a bit more, and I'm doing uh, like a close grip press for 10 reps. One, two, Alright, but here we go. So, yep, females can do this exercise pretty much exactly the same as men. Just focusing on the tempo is the most important thing. Bringing it up, just pause at the top a little bit, and then controlling it down from here to there. That's the most important part of... <laughs> most important part of the rip. Good tweet. Nice. Okay, so Twee's going to do her tricep pushdowns. The form is pretty much exactly the same as how I just did it. Probably recommend for girls start on a weight that you can do maybe 15 to 20 because it's going to be a little bit lighter, yeah? There we go, drawing it up. Alright guys, about to hit the second set. Got the singlet out, ready to go. Ready? 
So I'm going to go 42 now, so this is just one above the last set. Shoot for around the same reps though. So I'll do 10 um, with my face in front of the cable and then 10 leaning into it. <laughs> I always do that before I start a new exercise, like I always go, alright guys, so <laughs> we're going to be doing our barbell curls now, superset with some tricep dips. Now these are the two mass building exercises. You always want to make sure you put your mass building exercise in the middle of your workouts, okay? Don't start with something like this. Wait till your, your tendons and your joints are fully warmed up, all your recruitment is firing, okay? There's a few different techniques that you can do when it comes to barbell curling. My advice is just do what's comfortable for you. The way I like to do it is arms completely straight at the bottom, bending my knees and just slightly tilting forward at my hips so that you can get a full stretch through the bicep. From there, you're gonna raise the bar up curling up and then pausing in front of your shoulders just like we did with the, uh, the dumbbell curl. Then from there you're going to control it down. Exactly the same. Once you get to that 90 degrees then you can start to release the bar, leaning forward slightly until the bar hits your leg and then come back up nice and powerful. Okay? Exactly like we, I said on the dumbbell curl, resisting it from the top down to 90 degrees is the most important part of the movement. Okay? Bringing it up is also obviously really important but towards the end of your set, if you're getting tired, just cheat a little bit to get it up. As long as you control it down, that's what's going to tear down the muscle fibers. <coughs> Alright, now, so it's not really a necessity to be wearing a weight belt when you're doing barbell kills, but like I said on our leg day video, it's just a precaution. If it makes you feel more confident through your movement, then why not? <sighs> swing on that last one just to get it up and then ah. Ah. Oh. all right girls pretty much the same as the boys except you're probably just gonna have a little less swing because you're not doing as heavy in saying that the rep range is still 10 to 15 so just pick a weight that you think you can do 10 to 15 on now arms are looking good So, tricep dips, um, in terms of where you're going to hold the bar will determine how or what muscle group you hit. So if we're trying to hit triceps, generally we hold the straight part of the bar which will put your arms a little bit narrower. If we're trying to do our chest, you're going to hold it on this curvy bit which means your elbows are going to then flare out to the sides as you lean into the weight. 
and then you push up at like that. Because we're doing arms though, we're trying to keep the elbows tucked in by the sides, chest upright, and then dropping straight down without leaning forward as much. Then bang, drive primarily through the arms. Primarily, meaning you're still gonna use your chest and shoulders a little bit because it's a compound movement. This isn't an isolated movement. Some people get confused about trying to isolate muscles as much as possible, but this is, again, a compound movement, which means you're gonna be using everything in the upper body. So just favor the triceps by staying upright as much as you can. All right, bang, straight down to 90, and then squeeze through the arms. And then each set we're going to go a little bit heavier and by say the last set I'm only going to be going for about six so this is the mass building exercise which means you can implement more weight which means you can start to drop the reps range down as you go heavier all right so now Twee's going to do bench dips okay obviously she's not going to show up her weight to her and do the dips that I just did so this is a variation that females can do what you want to do is put your feet out in front of you slight bend through your knees and then lift your toes up off the floor all right, now as you drop down, she's gonna drop her hips straight down in front of the bench and then lock her arms out and then slightly push away from the bench. So when you lock your arms out, yep, locking out and holding it at the top. Now notice that she's got her chin tucked down onto her chest, which allows, I'm uh, sorry, it doesn't allow, it reduces the amount of pressure through her traps and her neck as she drops down. If you have your, your chin up, you might find that you get like a lot of pinching through your, your neck and your traps. So to reduce that uncomfortable feeling, just tuck your chin down and go boom, Eshe, boom. Here we go. 15 to 20 reps for the girls. Let's go. Second set, I'm gonna strap on an extra 20 kilos. So like I said on that last set, I'll be going for about, I reckon eight to 10 still. See how we feel though. Every week's different. So this is 45 extra kilos. And how much am I weighing? Like 85. So that's a lot more. <laughs> it's like 120 kilos or like, <laughs> roughly. <laughs> is it? I don't know. <laughs> 125 Just call maybe? it lightweight. <laughs> Quite a bit more. <laughs> you do the math. You do the math. I'm just here to lift the weight. <laughs> technique when you're doing like maximum weight on any movement it's super important to sort of blow your air out before you start and then take a really big breath in and then hold the air for that first rep that's what's going to give you that power and also stability if you're breathing air in as you're coming down it means your lungs are expanding which means you're not going to have as much stability or tension through the muscles and the joints that you want so hold your air for the first rip. Right, this is another exercise that you can do either as a substitute for barbell curls, because I know some people don't like doing barbell curls due to forearm pain, this, that, and the other, um, or if you just want to mix up your program. So basically what you do is you get, if you've got a seated row that has two individual handles, great. If not, just attach it to one handle. All right, sit upright, lean forward into it to get the stretch, and then bang, constant tension.
That's crazy. Woo. Guys and girls can obviously do this. Get in there, Twig, give it a whirl. Let me show you. <laughs> show us. Yes, good. There we go. It's too light, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we're on check. <laughs> yeah, no cheating here. <laughs> here we go. Big arms, baby. Tuck the elbows into your ribs. Good. Squeeze back up. Control down. Nice. Look at that. Two more, just like four strips now, just like, yes, relax on the techniques, go, just pull. One more, four strips, go. All right, there we go. All right, so obviously towards the end of the set, as you would have heard, I was telling her to do four strips, which means you can really like, just forget about the technique and the, and the strictness of it, and just lean into it and get a bit more exertion out of it, you know? Cheat a little bit to get it moving. Male version, no, it's not really the male, girls can do this too, but the way that I like to do the overheads is with a dumbbell, okay? A lot more tension goes through the tricep, letting that weight go behind the head. And in terms of your elbow positioning now, I know there's a lot of advice out there in terms of which way you should point your elbows like forwards is obviously going to make the tricep a lot more strict. So you're going to feel it through this part where the elbow is. And if that's the part of the tricep that you want to improve, then cool. But for me and the majority of people will just want to hit the main chunk of it. Just let your elbows sit naturally. Wherever your, your elbows sit as you reach back behind your heads, that's where they're going to sit. Okay? That's, that will allow the greatest range of motion and will allow you to use more weight. If you do it like this, then you obviously got to drop the weight down. Um, I like to go as heavy as possible on this though, so we're shooting for about, I don't know, eight to 10 reps. All right, soft through the knees to support, um, like um, reduce the pressure through your lower back. All right, don't, don't, whatever you do, don't stand like this. Can you show on my legs? Don't stand with your legs, your knees locked out like that. Your lower back will just fucking cop it hard. Open your legs up, soft through the knees. Touching base on that last little technique cue, like I just said, that was probably a little bit too heavy for where I'm at in this workout, but if you find that it's getting heavier, by having your knees open will allow you to bend towards the bottom and then just sort of use that momentum to get the, the weight moving. Once you get it to the top, then you've just got to focus on controlling it down through the eccentric phase. I'm going to go a little bit lighter for the next one and try and make sure the first half of the set is a bit stricter. Then towards the end of the set, I can use that little bit of a cheat. Ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. This is five kilos lighter than the last one, so it should move a lot easier. It's getting tight when I aim up, elevating that game, stepping up to the competition. Only first place in this high living. I'm with it till they dig in up my grave. Eating all the things up on my plate. Game face when I step up in the place. I was born and when I watched me other day. Alright. So overhead movements are how you build up that swoop to your tricep. When you're doing a front double bind, you want to exaggerate that curvature, that shape to the tricep belly. You have to do these sort of movements, stretching out the muscle as far as you can. You can already see, like when I draw my hands behind my head like that, and the tricep is stretching, that is stretching so much more than you're just doing this. Like that's not even half the amount of stretch that you're getting when you put a weight behind your head. So make sure you do a variation of movements. Cable movements, free weight movements like dips or like whatever, or like closed grip bench presses, so big compound movements, and then do some overhead movements for your triceps. All right, here we go. This is by far, one of my favorite bicep movements, it's a one-arm preacher kill. 
So just like the triceps, you've got to do a variation of movements, all right? We started with a dumbbell curl, which is like a free weight movement. Then we moved into doing the barbell curl. Now we're doing an isolated movement where the elbow is raised up, okay? That should take some of the shoulder out of it. And now we can focus on primarily just pulling through the bicep. So when you do this movement, ensure that your armpit is flush on the corner of the pad here. Tricep is going straight down. And then you're resisting the weight on the way down, stretching out the bicep till about here. And then, bang, squeezing back up until you hit that maximum tension spot, okay? You don't want to come all the way up so that the muscle relaxes. Make sure that your bicep is always flexed. Now, because this is towards the end of the session, you're probably gonna start to burn or fail a bit sooner than what you would expect. So you can start to spot it on the way up with your other hand and then let go, let it go down slowly. Spot on the way up. Biceps are looking nice and full from the left to the right. I want to try and get a little bit more of a hang here. So to favor this part of my bicep, what I'm going to do is just slightly turn my wrist like that on this exercise. So that when I pull, it's going to pull through this inside corner. And then you watch, after the next couple of sets, if I go like that, you'll see that this starts to droop down a bit more and you'll have a bit more fullness, obviously because there's more blood in there, but because I'm also favoring that side through the movement. All right guys, so that's pretty much the end of the arm workout. And now this is where most guys would just pack it up and leave and go home, right? But no, not us, not the active fam. To me anyway, this part of the arm is like the most impressive part, the forearm, your brachialis. Obviously like the bicep and tricep, Everyone wants big arms, but this is what most people don't have, and that's because this is where most people Skip finish their arms. workouts. So what are we going to do? We're going to do some forearm work, arm work. Now, I've been doing this for probably like maybe 10 years, all right? Four sets a week. When you finish your arm workout, just do four sets. That's it. Four sets a week. All we're going to do is some um, forearm curls. Now, I got these from Phil Heath, and we've all seen Phil's forearms, yeah? So all you need to do is turn your body on a 45 degree angle to facing the mirror and then curl your forearm, squeezing it up into your bicep, all right? You should see this part of your forearm flexing, then let it drop back with a bit of speed and then boom, all right? You're going to do five reps on one arm, then swap sides. Five repetitive reps on this arm and then five and then five, all right? So 10 each side. Big break, Alice. Two, three, four. I might do six. Five. Oh. To me, that just like it, an arm, no matter how big it is, just looks incomplete if you don't have that that bump there, that brachialis. A lot of bodybuilders skip over it. I'm gonna do three more sets of that. <sighs> 